Hi, thank you for having me. Once a year, you'll appear, dine at their tables and drink, stoop to stoop.
is North. Uh, North's going to start, and um, this first song, uh, actually, there's, there's a story, I've told um, some of it uh, before, and, and, and I'm going to, uh, I'd like to tell the whole uh, story now. Um, there was a little girl um, and in England, and she was uh, going, playing in her parents' attic, and um, she found this little um, bit of parchment sewn into the, the lining of a hat um, and it had some sheet music on it and the little girl was was kind of musical and so she brought the, the parchment down um, and her mother had made breakfast which was oatmeal and the little girl was just looking at it and she started singing the notes and the bowl of oatmeal, the oatmeal started to float out of the bowl as she sang the song and it float, floated up near the ceiling and then it started to glow exactly like a moon. It was like a, an oatmeal moon 
and it was glowing and, and lighting the little girl and, and, and her mother at the kitchen table, and her mother was just astonished. Um, and so she went on the stage doing this. Uh, this little girl would come out on stage, there'd be a bowl of oatmeal, and uh, she'd start singing the song and the oatmeal would float and, and begin to glow, and it was a huge hit. Um, and she ended up on the vaudeville circuit, uh, the music hall circuit in England and the vaudeville circuit in America. She ended up um, becoming very close to a boy who played the harp in a group of comedians named Harpo. Um, and they were very, very good friends. And what happened was years and years later, um, Harpo was touring in Russia and, and invited her uh, to come and, and uh, do her act opening for him. Um, the Marx Brothers had become really popular. And what happened was, was I don't, nobody knows why it could have been the plane or, or, or just exhaustion or just a different altitude or something. When she came out on stage with a bowl of oatmeal and started singing, nothing happened. It, it didn't float. And she was horrified because it was over. It was like it was all over. Um, and, and she was just standing there staring at the oatmeal, not moving. And this whole grand theater full of people watching, nothing happened. And she was really nervous and, and really crestfallen. And when she got to the end of the song, she was about to cry. And then suddenly there were these thunderous applause, just insanely thunderous applause, because her singing was so beautiful. And no one had ever noticed because of the floating oatmeal moon. And the people in Russia had no idea that the, float, the oatmeal was supposed to float. Um, and it was around that time that she took a stage name, which was Billie Holiday, and this is the song. Uh, North the singing saw, ladies and gentlemen. You never know what key North's finessing in. North the scene saw, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and now, hopefully I didn't hit the mic with my head too much during that. Sorry if I did. Um, sorry, I'm all right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Romika the singing saw, and um, Romika is going to sing this next song. Um, if you have a candle. Uh, and, uh, and uh, something to light it with. Um, you could set it up in, in front of the screen, and of course you can stop this and do that, but you can set it up in front of the screen between you and the screen um, uh, in preparation for this. Um, and uh, you could even go ahead and light it now if you want to. Um, because uh, this song was originally used uh, in the 1800s uh, to put out fires. Um, when someone's house would catch fire, people would come from miles around and sing it. This was before they knew about water. And it, the thing was that they would uh, surround the house and start singing, and the theory at the time was, was that fire spread and take off uh, from the places where they belonged, because they belonged in everyone's home. They, they kept everyone's house warm, they lighted everyone's house in those days. 
uh, they would spread when there wasn't enough love in the air. Uh, and so this song was just a way to, to make there more good feeling and, and, and love and warmth and, and kindness in the air. And the flames, they believed, would be soothed uh, and calmed by this and eventually just go back to where they belonged or stay where they belonged. And, and supposedly, apparently, many fires were put out this way. Um, and so if you have your candle lit, I guess what I'm inviting you to do is just to see the way that things used to be done uh, and how phenom you know, what phenomena people used to use. You can look at the candle, uh, the flame, and, and just notice how as the song starts, it, it begins to be calmed and soothed and, and kind of glow differently. Um, so it's kind of a science, science experiment. Ladies and gentlemen, Romika. Ladies and gentlemen, Romika. Um, Romika's <clears throat> also going to sing on this last song. So this, this is going to be uh, me and, and Romika's song. So 
Happiness and happy holidays.